Hi guys, it's Kent here from DocBot Zoom and Galaxy. We're doing a quick video on how to choose the perfect work boot that a podiatrist would recommend. Um, so there are a few things we look for when we're choosing a work boot or any shoe for that matter, but we've just adjusted this to so it's specifically for work boots for this video. So the first thing we look for is like in any shoe is where does the shoe bend? So if we take the, put pressure on the back and the front, and we can see that the boot in this example only bends where the big toe would bend. Uh, and this is the only spot where your foot bends, so it's the only spot where the shoe should bend. And this will help to uh, enable the foot to walk in a sort of heel to toe and normal toe off progression when you're walking around the job site. And it, it really helps to make the boot a lot more comfortable. The second thing we look for <coughs> is how much does the boot twist? So we try and wring the boot out uh, and it should be really nice and firm and stiff down through, through, the, through the middle of the boot so it doesn't twist or wring out too much. This helps to keep the foot nice and stable when you're walking around the job site, so it won't bend and twist over every little rock and make your foot work harder. So the boot will do most of the work for your foot if it doesn't twist too much. Um, the third thing we look for is the heel counter. So the heel counter is this section around that cups your heel. So in a boot, what we look for is we want it to be nice and high and firm, but we also want it to be a bit adaptable so over time if you've got a broader foot it'll actually separate and mold to your foot so with the full grain leathers that we use in our boots like the boot here the ergonics boot it's um it will actually adapt to your heel over time so if you've got a broader heel this will actually accommodate the broader heel a little bit better um, the fourth thing we look at is the toe box so the boots that we make are in, come in a 4e fitting so they're nice and wide so if you've got a broad foot we want to put it in a broad wide boot so not to crush the toes uh, and also we want it to be deep enough not to crush the toes from top to bottom this is particularly important when we're choosing a steel cap or fiber tap capped boot because we don't want this edge of the the cap to rest into the foot particularly when we're squatting down and irritate the foot at all um, the fifth thing we look for so this is a very simple one is the length of the shoe we usually fit the boot at minimum a thumb width longer than your longest toe so this is just a straight up fitting thing if you can take the insole out of the boot and stand on it if your toes go to the end of the insole it's too small we need to fit them a thumb width longer than the longest toe and that gives you a bit of room to move um, or wiggle your toes as you're walking around the job site so if we claw our toes they won't touch the ends of the insole um, the sixth thing is how's it fastened to the foot um, our preference when choosing a boot is to have a lace-up style boot. So we've got the laces and the elastic down the inside, sorry, the, the zipper down the inside of the boot. So the lace-up boot gives you the best of both worlds because you've got the zipper down the outside here. So basically we can slip the boot on and do the zipper so it's very quick to get on and then as the boot stretches as it ages because we use real leathers in the boots um, the the leather will stretch over time and we can adjust the laces so we can still keep all the support around the ankle and around the heel but we've still got the benefit of slipping the boot on and off um, to save time if you're going inside houses outside houses i know plumbers love the love the elastic love love the zip on boots and so do electricians as they're in and out of the house a lot and it, it just makes it a lot easier to get their boots on and off if they've got the zipper on the side so that's why we use the zipper on the side of that one um, we use a the next thing we use the seventh thing is a we have a, a little heel lift on the on the boot what this does it just biases the heel slightly to take some of the the pressure off the calf so this when we take the pressure off the calf it won't allow your foot to roll in as much and it make your feet ache less so we have a little heel but not too high we don't want to go any higher than about two and a half centimeters and we sit right in the middle of that in these boots um, the other thing we look for is when we're fitting a boot if we've got a straight foot we put it in a straight shoe so and how we determine if you've got a straight foot or a, a, um, a curved foot is we do a bisection of the heel straight up the middle of the foot and if the foot is curved more of the shoe will sit to the inside here and if it's straight it'll sit right down the middle like this boot here so we put a curved shoe in a curved boot and a straight shoe in a straight boot uh, and that's as simple as we can put that. Just we accommodate whatever the shape of the foot is doing in the boot.
Um, the last thing we look at in when we're assessing a shoe, uh, not specifically a boot, um, and we also assess it in a boot in this instance, is the midsole. And if we can see through here, we've got this really nice, soft, soft but not too soft, firm but not too firm midsole. So this helps to cushion the foot and it helps to um, take some of the stress off the knees and the heels. So when we impact the ground, um, it means that there's less force going through the, the, the bones and joints of the feet and knees and legs. Uh, so it makes it a lot more comfortable within the boot. So other things we look for, particularly in boots, if you look at some of the cheaper boots, when we look, if we look at the underside of the boot, we want to make sure that this is all on one level plane. If we have a look at some of the cheaper boots, it will actually be, it's actually hard to do on this one because we can't twist it. But the back, the heel will be twisted up with respect to the forefoot. And this means that every time your foot hits the ground, the foot has to twist to level out what, what should be being done by the boot. And it may, means, makes a lot more strain on your feet and legs and knees. Um, so that's a really big one that we look for in any, you'll see most of the high quality boots will have a nice flat plane under here and that they, the, the, the boot won't be twisted in the manufacturing process. So that's a bit of a quick rundown on, on what we look for in our boots and why we believe that the boots we've designed here are, are the best podiatrist design boots in Australia. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback on them if you're wearing them or if you'd like to add a comment, please comment in the section below and we'll, um, yeah, we'll, go, we'll reply to your comments. Thanks.